like the question is of the three independent events even e2 and e3 the probability that only even occurs is alpha only e2 occurs is beta and only e3 occurs is gamma like the probability p that none of the events even e2 or e3 occurs satisfy the equation alpha minus 2 beta p equals alpha beta and beta minus 3 gamma into p equals 2 beta gamma all the given probabilities are assumed to lie in the interval 0 to 1 both not inclusive then we need to find probability of occurrence of e1 upon probability of occurrence of e2 now say probability of occurrence of e1 it is say a probability of occurrence of e2 it is say b and probability of occurrence of e3 it is c now the first one is only even occurs that is p e1 intersection e2 not intersection e3 not now they are independent events so this probability will be a into 1 minus b into 1 minus c and it is equal to alpha in the same way we can write 1 minus a into b into 1 minus c will be this beta and then 1 minus a 1 minus b into c and this is gamma now we are given that none of e1 e2 e3 occurs this probability will be 1 minus a 1 minus b 1 minus c that is equal to p now we divide this first with 4 we can write a upon 1 minus a will be equal to alpha upon p and if we use component to dividend we can write a equals alpha upon p plus alpha in the same way we will write b as beta upon p plus beta and c as gamma upon p plus gamma now we need to find the value of a upon c now a upon c is alpha into p plus gamma upon gamma into p plus alpha now we will get this expression from these two given conditions so what we will do is we will eliminate beta from these now from this first one we can write beta equals alpha p upon 2p plus alpha and from the second one we write beta as 3 gamma p upon p minus 2 gamma now we equate them we can write alpha p upon 2p plus alpha will be equal to 3 gamma p upon p minus 2 gamma now this p and p will cancel we will get alpha p minus 2 alpha gamma will be equal to 6 p gamma plus 3 alpha gamma now what we will do is we will add 3 alpha gamma both sides so we can write alpha p plus gamma and it will be equal to 6 gamma p plus alpha so if we rearrange we can write alpha p plus gamma upon gamma p plus alpha it must be equal to 6 so value of probability of e1 upon probability of e3 will be nothing but 6 and that is the answer to this question